now we do not want to be uninformed believers about those who are asleep so that you will not grieve as others do who have no hope for if we believe that jesus died and rose and rose again which he did even so god in the same way by raising them from dead will bring with him those believers who have fallen asleep in jesus for we say this to you by the lord's own word that who are still alive and remain until the coming of the lord will in no way precede those believers who have fallen asleep and death for the lord himself will come down from heaven and will shout a command with the voice of an archangel and with the blast of the trumpet of god and the dead in christ will, will rise first then who are alive and remain on earth will simultaneously be caught up raptured together with them the resurrected ones in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so will always be with the lord therefore comfort and encourage one another with these words concerning our reunion with the believers who have died this scripture right here is very very important and exciting for uh, all the all the believers in the body of christ around the world it's our it's what we've been waiting for this whole time to be able to meet our lord jesus in the air with all the other uh, body of Christ who are dead in Christ. It's a exciting time, but it's also an extremely, it's an extremely sad time for those who are still going to be here on earth that have to go through the tribulation. The Lord has made it very clear that we need to warn as many people as possible, to spread the good news about the gospel, and make sure everyone's educated on what's coming, and to warn as many people as possible, not just sit back and say, well, I'm going to be good. My family's going to be good. You know, that's not that's not fair. So I think we all need to do our part to, you know, ring the alarms right now. And I think a lot of people are. I see a lot of it going on right now, which is great. And he is pouring out his spirit all over the world right now. But what about the children? Yes, the children of a certain age will be taken up as well. I don't. No one knows the exact age of the people that will go. But what this does mean, I think about this a lot, is millions of parents around the world are going to be extremely upset and distraught. They're going to they're going to lose all their little kiddos at once, and a lot of them are going to be deceived by what the uh, mainstream media is going to be pushing, which is the alien abduction. I'm guessing no one knows that either, but they're not going to just say, "Oh, all the all the body of Christ was was raptured." So you don't have to endure the, the what's coming next. They're not going to say that. It's going to be an elaborate show to deceive people further and further away from our Lord. The, the the reason I believe that he is taking these kiddos, the children of a certain age, is they're innocent. They're completely innocent, and they they shouldn't have to go through the horrors of the tribulation in any way. The good news is for the people that don't that don't get raptured and, and their kids are gone is they can see them again. They can see their kiddos again. Uh, they just have to um, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and become a born again uh, believer and make it through the tribulation, which is most likely going to be a lot of a lot of martyrs, a lot of martyrs. Um, which is very sad to say, but it, but it, but it's true. I, be I believe Christians are going to be persecuted like no other time before. It's going to be unbelievably hard, unbelievably hard for Christians and believers to make it through the tribulation um, because not only are they going to be persecuted and hunted down, the, uh, the mark of the beast is going to be coming into effect as well. So if you don't take this mark, on your wrist or your forehead, you can't buy or sell. W what happens if you don't do that? Well, you starve to death or they kill you. You don't think that millions and millions of people are just going to get scared and do the mark? That's another thing that the body of Christ, we have a responsibility to tell as many people as possible that under under any circumstance, do not take this mark. Do not take this mark because it, disqualify, it disqualifies you from eternal salvation. So that's another, that's another thing, another hard conversation to have is once this happens, you, you know, you have to go off grid and have to learn how to farm your own food. You have to have serious survival skills and do it immediately. Um, or, or you don't have to face all this. You don't have to face tribulation. All you have to do is accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That's all 
simple the choice is. As you know, a lot of people aren't going to believe or they're not going to listen and they're going to think you're crazy and that's okay. But we need to do our job as the body of Christ to inform as many people as possible about the about the tribulation and what's going to happen. The good news of the kingdom, the gospel, will be preached throughout the whole world as a testimony to all the nations. And then the end of the age will come. So the good news is, and this whole in the, the rapture and the tribulation is people still have an opportunity to be saved. In fact, this is going to be the greatest harvest of souls ever. It's going to be millions and millions and millions of people that are going to be coming into the body. I was thinking about this. I was like, why does all, does all this have to happen? The more um, further along my walk, I realized that people aren't going, a lot of people, not all people, a lot of people aren't going to listen about the good news. They aren't going to turn to Jesus until all hell breaks loose on earth then they're going to be scared out of their minds they're going to be scared out of their minds they're not going to be able to feed their family they might be missing their children they might be missing a loved one a husband or a wife and all these bowls of wrath are going to be coming down on the earth all at the same time what it is is each time something else happens with these bowls of wrath is pushing more and more the wheat in the chaff. It's pushing more and more people to make a decision. Are you going to repent? Are you going to repent and make Jesus your Lord and Savior and accept him and receive him as your Lord and Savior? Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and be saved? Or or your your beliefs that Jesus is not the Lord and Savior and and then you have to face the more and more and more tribulation. And then which is worse is, or, or they'll take the mark of the beast and then you're immediately disqualified from eternal salvation. So I believe one of the one of the main reasons this has to be done is to more and more people a chance to enter the body of Christ before it's too late. It's gonna be hard for people to see that that way, that God really is extending his grace for another seven years, but let me tell you, he is. Because in theory, if he wanted to, he can do whatever he wants. He can just come and just take the body of Christ and just, Everything can just go away and then you don't have a chance, but he's not doing that in his grace. He's giving a seven year period to show to show what the world is like without the body of Christ holding it up together, holding up together the peace between the whole world. You take just it's hard for me to even comprehend to see what happens. If the body of Christ isn't here. It's going to be it's going to be chaos. I mean, it's going to be very quick. I'm not trying to scare everybody, but it's true. It's going to be conditions that no one has ever seen before back to what are what are what are you supposed to do i i believe this is coming but people won't listen i, under, I understand i'm going through the same thing to believe me but we have to tell as many people as possible and just be straight up honest just just be straight up honest you know your your kids might be missing and the reason is they're not abducted but they're taking they're taken by the lord uh to avoid the, the tribulation. Well, who, who, he can't do that. Well, yes, he can. So well, what do I do? Okay, well, here's the good news. You don't have to go through the tribulation. You don't have to do it. All you have to do is turn to the Lord and make him your Lord and Savior. Well, how do I do that? You start by reading your Bible. <laughs> you can seek the Lord for wisdom. And then I always go back to believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. That's it. And then the Holy Spirit is going to come into your into your into your body, into your spirit, and he's gonna transform your body, mind, will, and emotions. And then he'll supernaturally heal you. And, and then your, your life is gonna change for the better. You'll get eternal salvation. And you get to be with the Lord Jesus during the rapture. That to me sounds like a pretty like a pretty good deal. I'm, I'm not gonna go into all the bowls of wrath and all that, because I'm not that's not my thing. I don't want to go into all that to scare everybody. But I do recommend people do read Revelations. People do see um, Pastor Nolan has a, uh, I'll, I'll put his link below. He has an incredible series on the Revelation. He did a, a really good job breaking it all down from, from start to finish. He really explained what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, and all the steps. It sounds so, it sounds horrible, guys. I'm hoping this video reaches as many people as, as possible, along with the rest of the body of Christ warnings to heed what's coming.
So they don't have to go through this. They don't have to go through tribulation because because it is coming. It is happening in our lifetimes. The Father knows it is coming soon. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.